All right, good morning. Last video of the day, Wakanda Forever. I noticed this and I just wanted to share my thoughts and please add your thoughts as well because I know I'm going to miss some things. And I'm only going to show you pictures instead of showing you the video footage from ABC because we know who controls all media, right? And yeah, I'm not going to be planning on going to see this movie because I don't want to give them any none of my money not a chance no way <laughs> not happening nor is this my kind of movie anyway but anyway I'm sure even with just these advertisements you can see many things the X the 101 you know the square and compass and there's just so much more but let's take a look at what they were showing us here on Wakanda forever when he was covering this now, the first thing that I wanted to see was what it equaled to Wakanda forever. Well, it equals to 66. Wakanda itself, 55, and Black Panther, 666. Well, there you have it. I don't need to say anything more, but I'm gonna. Of course. Boy, they love the masks. Are you noticing? It's on the head. It's covering the mouth. There's a close-up. I mean, she's got one covering the mouth. And we know that's exactly what is happening all around the world right now they want masks and they want them to come back but look at those masks then you have the staircase the black and white staircase right behind them all oh, they love their staircases right but here you see the black mask look like I said I've not seen this movie I don't know anything about it but seeing that they're sitting in a place where there's fire all around them it just reminds me of you know the bible verse where it says the devil that was deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever look whether you believe in, in hell or not it's clear it does exist it's been called sheol and when you look at older pictures it's interesting what you find right Hmm. Look, I'm just sharing. But anyway, it is, is it a it is a place that is far from God, and that's why they say it is dark and it feels like hell. Look, I don't know what it'll be like, but I don't want to be there. That's all I can say. And you don't need to live in fear. All I can tell you is that we have been given power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Remember that. Remember when he comes to battle in your mind even. You need to fight against him. But other pictures that I noticed, you know, here, where they're showing the X with their arms. They're, so there's two of them right there, and they're doing that. And it reminded me, you know, of the X that Madonna had, you know, how she was now considered Madame X. How you can see the X on various things. You know, the Antichrist, that's the symbol, is X. It equals 10 24 you know many things right yeah so I went in to look at you know IXXI there you have another two X's and how you can find it in the Kabbalah you know it's room 101 as well <laughs> so many things I just wanted to share the X you know it's X box X factor yeah, and slavery and all those that were united this is why I say don't just unite with people for because it sounds good no it there's so much more always to that even Christians and Christian organizations aligned with this end it and it was sad to see because they partnered with so many as you can already see the Freemason the heart that's giving Tuesday that's their thing and so many Christians aligned with them including a 21 uh, geez I can't even begin to remember it was on this last picture here we have world vision a 21 um, so many organizations and and those that are even with them world relief I mean, come on so research takes time that's what you, we all need to do before we jump and go and unite with somebody and we need to be testing everyone all the movements everything t pastors churches that's what we've been doing and that's why we are seeing what we're seeing but anyway the Black Panther they're dressed in white right to show innocence purity also light but why is the one covering the head hmm she can't even see where she's going she's being led by the older lady right here very interesting when they wear white you know it means that they've established themselves they're rich they're wealthy that's what wearing white nowadays means by the way but this symbol here alone to me says it all there's nothing new under the sun it means raw you know 
it always goes back to Egypt every single time. It's the worship of the moon and the sun. That's what it means. The Atum Ra. The, all those names, I don't even want to say them because some of them sound familiar and it'll trigger something on YouTube, believe it or not. But Freemasons who view it is as the biblical ruler of the night and as a reminder of the regularity of the conduct of the master of the lodge. That's the symbol right there in the middle. Hmm, interesting. I just wanted to share that. But anyway, found that. And as above, so below is seen all over this picture that they shared with us in this video clip. The pyramid, the one eye, the black and white stairs. There's just so much right in that. I'm... I know I'm forgetting something, but anyway, then they mention this one, Rihanna. Ah, oh, yeah, Rihanna. Everyone knows her, right? Here with her crown covering the eyes, so it's exactly, kids should not understand what's going on. And the crown, boy, the way she held that crown right there, it just triggered and reminded me of something. Yeah, we know who she is, I don't think we need to say, but she made the song Lift Me Up for this one here and it reminded me of the peace you know video of Hillsong and the reason they even took it out you see on the bottom the girl is holding up the crown the same way yeah they took that down because there was so much symbolism and then boy did they get an earful but anyway born again she came out with a new song born again really Rana I mean give me a break do we really think that she is born again I mean, the only type of born again she'll ever be is born and uh, uniting herself with the devil. But you can read the lyrics for yourself. I give my all to this place. I give my soul or whatever it takes. Never run away. I've got enough angels to storm the gates. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Behold the brave. I'll have it no other way. Uh, she goes on and on. Just tell me what I need to do. Hmm. I'll die and come back just to love you. Just tell me, I'm begging you. Wow. I mean, the lyrics alone s say it all, but you know that she's definitely who she's worshiping and who she's united with. I don't think I need to share it with you guys. You guys know. And they mentioned the glass onion even in this video clip, and someone asked me if I would be covering it. I won't. I watched it. It was interesting, but I wasn't watching it and thinking about all kinds of things. Look, Enter the Stars covers videos and movies so well that I would ask him to cover that but it was an interesting movie and there was that twist definitely it's not what you think it's going to be but you can see even symbols on the gentleman there on his tattooing exactly who they are he's got the pyramid <laughs> he's got the black sun oh my goodness I mean we know who they are and if you look at Glass Onion you can find see, uh, songs of the Beatles they have been at this for a while and look at there it's the one eye symbolism again and it's been in the, the Simpsons and we know who the Beatles are I don't think I need to share with you guys so anyway but anyway that was my take on Wakanda Forever Black Panther <laughs> new movie coming out whoo all right let's take a break and enjoy the weekend trust in God and remember to make time for him that's I need to remind myself that and, and I want to remind you guys too. That's the most important thing for us is to stay close to him in these times. All right, God bless. Enjoy the weekend. We'll catch you guys here again Monday. Till next time.